Hello everyone, today we are going to be working on a beautiful terracotta set. I am going to be painting an ikat pattern on this um, terracotta set. So I have painted um, already a black base coat on all of this and kept it ready. This is a fired piece, everything is fired. I have painted a bla black base coat on all of them. Uh, these are pretty jhumkas and uh, the pendant is just a plain pendant with a couple of gunguru beads at the base and those are the beads that I am going to be using to assemble. The paints are all acrylic, it's neutral grey, yellow ochre and black. The paint brushes are uh, five, I mean obviously it's based on your convenience and I am going to be using a liner brush for uh, most of it. So I am just drawing a rough marking and then I use slightly diluted grey paint and uh, draw this kind of a pattern. So if you were to google uh, Ikat, you will see um, you know similar patterns like this and um, in, in beautiful beautiful colors. So this one is obviously a combination of black, grey and yellow ochre. The only time that I have used the number 5 brush uh, is for the base coat and apart from that everything else is done with the help of a liner brush. So this is the yellow ochre which is again slightly diluted. So uh, if you see I do go through multiple coats uh, just for uh, better coverage. You see that the pattern is slowly taking shape. Now I go about, go about with a little bit of black paint uh, just to uh, refine it a little bit. And I repeat the same thing again at the, um, the, the second half of the pendant, rather the, the lower half of the pendant. refining adding a couple of more details with uh, black paint. Now for the jhumka, just painting a uh, grey and yellow ochre in an alternate manner and I am leaving the stud plain. Just plain uh, black stud and uh, it's just uh, the, the jhumka part, the bottom half of this earring is uh, going to be in yellow and uh, grey. Now for these beads, the round beads remain uh, plain black and uh, these are uh, painted, I will just call these disc beads and uh, they are painted in a combination of grey and yellow. Now that everything is ready, it is time to varnish. Now this is the product I currently use, in fact I have been using this um, uh, for a long time now. Uh, it is an ultra matte uh, varnish. Just apply a nice even coat. Now that everything is dry, it's time to assemble. I've laid out everything that I uh, require um, for putting this entire set together. I have this cord which is about approximately 1.5 mm in thickness and I'll be using two of those uh, because there are obviously two nichrome wire hooks. A wooden bead, stud posts, uh, my set of pliers, that's it, that's all is what I need. The arrangement is simple, uh, it's the black bead uh, followed by the disc bead in an alternate manner and uh, that's it. It's a really simple set and it's a beautiful um, a color combination, uh, would work lovely on a, uh, on a cotton uh, sari, on a crisp cotton sari, it would just look really nice. There you go, I knot it. This just helps uh, keep the beads uh, from moving, just keeps it in place. And now for the wooden bead at the, um, the back, this just helps with adjusting uh, the length of uh, the necklace or the chain. You know, some of them like to wear it short, some of them like to wear it long, so this just gives that option. 
then I knot the ends. I make sure it's well knotted because I will add a tassel over here. And this is for the tassel. Uh, it's just a plain black tassel. Uh, I will leave links in the uh, description box below on how I've made tassels. I have a, I have a lot of videos. Um, trim off the edges to make it look nice and neat. And there you go. Now for the stud posts, I attach them. And I leave these to dry and let it dry really well. So I'm just using a pen uh, just to make sure I can just press it down. Um, and there you go, this beautiful liquor set is ready. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Um, absolutely, absolutely loved the way this set has turned out. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching.